when we hear about the word AI or artificial intelligence, we usually think of, you know, we have this image in the back of our mind. Uh, this we have to thank Hollywood, right? Uh, you know, the movie making machine out in Hollywood obviously over the years have portrayed machines or even AI as something of this sort, right? A machine or a robot possibly taking over the world. It is said that it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent, but the most adaptable to change. Economic projections say that more than half of the world's workers will need retraining because of the artificial intelligence revolution, and that causes billions of people to fear the advent of this new technology. Chen Li is a computer scientist who was special guest speaker at this year's Senusha Taiwan trade show, and he knows that technological advancement is inevitable. In fact, by the time most people learned about the AI revolution, they were already immersed in it. However, as we all know, um, AI or even, you know, machines, they're all a part of us around, you know, in our everyday lives, whether it be the cars that we drive or whether it be the things that we purchase online, such as on Amazon, or even some of the services, whether it be, you know, having a dinner out in the restaurants and so forth, these are all currently all you know, integrated, very integrated with the technology as we know AI. People who spent years learning their professional skills and decades perfecting them are seeing large language models used to do in seconds what would take them hours to finish. Even complex tasks like writing code for video games and other computer applications, which once needed specialists, can be accomplished by beginners with a good understanding of how to prompt. And the tools of artificial intelligence are only growing more advanced and more numerous. And there's actually over 7,000 tools, you know, based on my last count, and probably there's more. It is actually increasing every day. There are other tools that can actually facilitate the use of generative AI to help you achieve whatever you need to achieve, whether it be for work, whether it be uh, from a personal perspective. And if you don't seem to find that, there are directories like this where you can just type in, you know, there's an AI for that. You can actually look for tools that are relevant to what you're looking for and then furthermore to be able to see feedback of past users whether you know their use experience and so forth the new technology is an opportunity to push forward for countries like st lucia which are not innovators of technology but the fear of the new technology is a hindrance that could set the island back even further fear not new technology is the proverbial mind killer i often get asked uh when will AI replace us? That's the very common question that we all often get. But I always say, uh, in terms of AI replacing humans, there's still some ways to go because to some extent, our human brain, our mind is actually quite complex. However, there is a real possibility that those that know how to use AI tools will replace those that don't. And those who do adapt the new technology will have the opportunity to jump ahead of people who were genuinely more qualified than them before the advent of artificial intelligence. AI will be about individual empowerment and so that we will be able to do more, create more, and I love this part. Every, each and one of us, we will have superpowers on demand. Almost like, you know, we're all super, super women and super men. And when we need to, we can quickly run to that telephone booth, change, save the world, and then if we need to get back to our normal lives, we take that off and we continue on our everyday lives. The only thing to fear is fear itself. For Choice News Now, I'm Jason Seaflake.